guys, we're still in Luxor. We're on our way to Karnak on the East Bank. It's the largest temple. It's the largest temple? Yeah, it's the largest temple complex in Egypt. It's the largest temple complex in Egypt. <laughs> yeah, we got up early because we wanted to get there right when it opened at 6 a.m. But right outside of our hotel, it seemed like a really good place to watch the sunrise. So that's what we ended up doing instead. So we're on our way there now. We must be here early. Nothing's open. That's nice. This is our second attempt at Karnak. We came here yesterday at about 11 a.m. and it was like the busiest time of day. So we got here to like the main entrance and like took one look down the corridor and you could just see it was like this sea of people. So we decided, okay, let's come back in the morning when there won't be anybody here. And we got here so early that there isn't even all those people that say that they're tour guides offering to give you a guided <laughs> tour for a ridiculous amount of money. Like, you can't even walk 20 feet usually in this complex without three or four of them coming up to you. There was a guy yesterday that got angry at us for saying no tour guides. Like, it's just gonna be a pile of rocks to you then. <laughs> no, not really, but yeah. okay, nice try. <laughs> it looks like we might be pretty much the only people here. Yeah, it's pretty crazy to see that all these things are painted. I just assumed that it was always this color, but like when you look up, you can still see, especially on the ceiling, you can see that it's still painted. It's the next day. After Karnak yesterday, we went to Valley of the Kings, but we could not bring you guys because uh, they have a pretty strict no photography policy, like no cameras, not even outside of the tombs. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's just how it is. So. Now we're headed to Banana Island. We're gonna get on this boat right here and head over. And Banana Island is exactly what it sounds like. That boat's called the Titanic. It's rather ominous, but at least there's no icebergs in the Nile. Bananas. Banana Island, exactly as promised. And this for you. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, basil. Oh, it smells so good. Nice. Yes, no. Banana Island turned out to be mostly depressing. Yeah. It's just like the world's tiniest zoo where the animals don't really have habitats, they just have like concrete and steel cages. Yeah. And like, even the dog who was outside and wasn't in a cage was on a chain that was three feet long. It was so cute and so friendly. Yeah, I had a dog, a fox, a bunch of pigeons or something. Oh, bananas. Oh, bananas. We got some bananas out of the deal. A lot of bananas. Banana bananas. So yeah, there's a fox, two crocodiles. Monkeys, two monkeys. We had two monkeys. And a dog. And the dog. It was up. Nobody said anything about there being a zoo. It was really sad. Banana Island. Would not recommend. These birds are so cool. Oh yeah.
Banana Island might have been like reverse Disneyland, like the most depressing place on earth, but the sunset over top is amazing. So if you're out here, definitely take the boat ride. Just probably don't go to the island. Yeah.